This is a job for somebody who's prepared to take the flak from both sides of the house. Jim Jordan, an Ohio congressman and hard right favourite, thinks he's the man that can. Sir, are you planning to run for the speaker position? No, we are. Yeah, we are. You are? Yeah. His credentials, he chairs the House Judiciary Committee and notably is a key antagonist in an inquiry to impeach President Joe Biden, which the White House calls a political stunt. On a $26 billion funding package for Ukraine, he says this. I'm, I'm, I'm against that. The most pressing issue on Americans' minds is not Ukraine. What would you it is say? the border situation and it's crime on the street. Gentleman from Louisiana. How many of us came here because we thought this job was going to be easy? This is Steve Scalise. He wants the job too. He's already served as a House whip assisting the Speaker. His return to frontline politics has amazed many of his supporters after events in 2017 when he was shot and seriously wounded at a charity baseball game. A month ago, he announced he's developed blood cancer and has started treatment. But he says he's fit for office and pitches himself as a consensus builder. I don't see the kind of concerns or qualms that people had about McCarthy applying to either Jordan or Scalise. Now, I don't want to say that they're, they're perfect candidates. Uh, undoubtedly, there's some doubts about each of them. I think there's probably more doubts about Jordan. But um, the point being that whoever the party picks, they're likely to have a kind of honeymoon period. Both candidates would likely need the blessing of the former president and current favorite for the Republican candidacy, Donald Trump. Some are even pitching his name as a wild card, despite his ongoing trials and criminal indictments. Not missing a beat to seize the limelight, Mr Trump's latest social media post sees him holding the gavel.